Hi, I'm Dan Cordopassi. Today I'm reviewing an HO scale TKN class Santa Fe tank car from American Limited Models. The MSRP for this car is $48.95. I paid $36.99 for mine from a popular online retailer. I also bought a similar TKO class car for the same price. American Limited Models offers different versions of this car with different markings and details to suit specific prototypes. We'll start the model at 100 possible points. The car comes packaged in a cardboard outer box with a clear plastic window. Inside a two-piece plastic cradle protects the model. Some thin plastic film protects the car's paint from chafing in the box. Since this particular car has roller bearing trucks, an extra set of end caps is also included. My other car with journal boxes did not have this. This is a good box that should provide adequate protection for storage and transport. I compared my model to photos of other TKN class cars in my Santa Fe Tank Cars reference book and it looks to be an extremely close match. My TKO car also looks correct. The main difference between the models is that my TKN is modernized and has had its side walkways replaced with horizontal bars, its side handrails have been deleted, and it has roller bearing trucks. The TKO model still has walkways, handrails, and journal boxes. It's worth noting that Santa Fe made these modifications to both classes of cars, so they should not be considered spotting features. The paint on the model is thin and opaque. There's a hint of fuzziness to the separation lines between the gray bands and the black on the tank body. It's not bad, and if the real cars were painted with stencils and not masked, then this might actually be accurate. The markings are crisp and all the tiny writing is legible with magnification. There's a barely noticeable hint of black showing through the white Santa Fe logo, though not enough to be objectionable. Tank cars are great for showing off detail, and this car is no exception. All of the grab irons are freestanding. The stirrup steps look to be made of plastic, perhaps a little thick in cross-section as a concession to durability, but still very fine looking. I really like the hazmat placards and the see-through turnbuckles on the tank straps. The ladders under the dome seem like they could be fragile, so I wouldn't recommend handling the car in this area. On the ends, the car has uncoupling levers, air hoses, photo-etched end platforms, more freestanding grabs, and a freestanding wire railing. The B end has a delicate brake wheel and chain. Up top, the dome detail is good with a freestanding grab iron on the hatch. The platforms around the dome are photo-etched. I like how the gray paint around the dome is a different shade than the gray bands elsewhere on the car. Underneath, the car has full brake rigging. The piping seems fragile, so again, be careful when handling the car. The wheels are metal and are insulated on one side. The car is equipped with knuckle couplers on both ends. There are no trip pins. It's worth noting that some of the prototype cars had shelf couplers, and the couplers on these cars are just regular ones, so you might want to check photos to make sure that your car has the right type. The coupler on the A end is low, so I'm taking five points. The coupler on the B end is at the correct height. All of the wheels are in gauge according to the NMRA standards gauge. There's a little bit of body wobble that will make the car vibrate side to side as it rolls. Tightening one of the bolster screws may fix this, but I'm still taking another five points. The car weighs 3.7 ounces. The NMRA recommended weight for a car of this length is around 4.25 ounces. I don't see any good way to open up the tank body without breaking things, so options for adding weight to this car are limited. It still feels heavy enough that it should track well, so I'm giving it a pass. The model is very free rolling. Let's see what we've got. The car had one low coupler and some body wobble, so I took a total of 10 points in the standards and operation category. That leaves us with a total of 90 out of 100 possible points, which would be an A- on a report card. This is a nice model and it deserves a green signal. This is a really nice prototypically accurate model of an interesting Santa Fe tank car. If you're a fan of the Santa Fe like I am, you might want to pick up one or two of these for your layout.